Welcome back. A Colorado Springs Pizzeria serving up more than just food to its customers. Slice 420 at the corner of Colorado and 25th also has a story to share by whatever means possible. News Live's Laura Wilson joins us now with that story. Laura? Well, the pizzeria does advertise fresh ingredients, but marijuana isn't one of them. It does, however, play a role in how this business came to be. Don't let the name fool you. You're thinking maybe you can smoke a little while you're in here or purchase a little while you're in here. There's no pot in this pizza, but Slice 420 does serve it with something special. I would support them just because of the story. The story of four-year-old Sophia, who suffers from cerebral palsy and daily seizures. At one point, Sophia was having up to a thousand seizures a day. What's the other one, chicken? Owners Christian and Stephanie Patriarca sold their family pizzeria in Florida and moved to Colorado at the end of 2016 so they could get Sophia a medical marijuana card. They had no doctors willing to sign for children. We just felt like we couldn't wait any longer. Our daughter's life really depended on getting it now instead of later. And a year later, they say life is completely different. Oh, there's a crack of a smile, silly girl. With Sophia down to just several seizures a day, thanks to a THC-infused oil. In Florida, they told us that, you know, she wouldn't be able to communicate at all. Here, she passed a Toby trial, which is a tablet that reads her eyes. All stories staff are eager to share in between serving up a mix of Italian and French cuisine. So I'm able to encourage people and let them know about the stigma on medical marijuana and say, hey, listen, it does work. I know firsthand. As their customer base grows, so does their hope for Sophia's future. It's not a milestone like typical children go through. We call them inch stones, and every little inch stone is just like, is such a blessing. They say the real milestone will come when Sophia can tell her own story. We know that one day that she will be able to talk, whether it's her voice or a machine. But, you know, we, we know that it's possible. And I asked Christian, one of the owners, what he would want Sophia's first word to be. He told me, hands down, it should be mommy. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Laura Wilson, News 5.